here's an update on our uh, tropical weather as well as our weather in the lower 48 and Camp southern Canada. Um, we got a very active pattern setting up here. Here's Tropical Depression 18, which essentially is probably most likely 100% chance going to become Sandy, Tropical Storm Sandy. And this storm is going to continue off towards the northeast. And many of you are probably shuffling through the GFS models wondering, well, uh, is there going to be a nor'easter for the eastern coast of the United States and eastern Canada? Well, if you made the same confusion mistake I did, um, that system is actually uh, being picked up by the GFS model on the between the 153 hour to uh, 186 hour run and brings the system, if we take a look at the model data here, brings the model data all the way up the east coast here and the GFS is the most one of the most western extent models that brings the storm on the western periphery um, towards the eastern seaboard and many of the models bring this storm up the coast as uh, a very formidable hybrid storm um, with tropical characteristics and subtropical characteristics. So this should be noted that this storm could cause extensive heavy torrential rains up and down the east coast and lots of wind. At this time it's too early to tell, but Jamaica is going to get hit by this, Cuba is going to get hit by this, and eventually up the east coast. This storm could briefly become a hurricane very quickly here. This storm is looking very good on satellite picture. Look at the outflow. In fact, I'm pretty sure, certain that today this, this will be Tropical Storm Sandy. This um, really is looking good. And just to the northeast of Sandy, we've got a 70% chance of this area developing. So the, the tropics are really heating up right now. Let's take a look at the lower 48 where I'm going to take you to the west coast. Snow levels are lowering to 4,200 feet from Klamath Falls down north of Redding, uh, Eureka up to Portland, Eugene. Uh, up to Seattle. Uh, most of the activity actually is in Northern California here, Mount Shasta, in the interior over here, just west of uh, Reno in these areas. We could pick up anywhere from three to six inches of snow and possibly locally higher amounts. Um, there's a that cold front is moving, going to move east across the Rockies, and that's the same system has a series of low pressure systems that are outputting a ton of. Well, not a ton, but a good portion of uh, area of showers and thunderstorms just east of Chicago here and then just east of Oklahoma City. And these are areas of torrential rains briefly. They're not areas of convective thunderstorms that will cause severe damage. Uh, there are no severe weather watches or warnings across the entire country right now. The big story is the heat in the east. Look at 90s in Texas, Dallas, down to... Uh, Brownsville, Houston, uh, Oklahoma City, once again we're cra almost cracking 90. Um, 70s and uh, up lower 80s in Atlanta, all the way up um, to the nation's capital, Virginia Beach in the lower to mid 70s, uh, Boston in the 60s, and up in eastern Canada, we're up in the 50s or about 12 to, to 13 degrees Celsius. So these, these temperatures are very much above normal and the party will continue across the eastern states where we'll see a good deal of warm weather and most areas along the east coast could be cracking 75 to 80 by Thursday and Friday. And along the Gulf Coast, most likely possibility of 90, which is very, very rare for this time of year. We're not looking at many record highs, but some areas could approach record highs. Across the northern plains, this is normal to have 40s and some 50s up here. This is actually pretty normal. And of course, we got the continued snowfall in the west. Let's take a look at the precipitation models. Uh, we have four to five inches up here in, in northern California, southwestern Oregon with those lower and snow levels and heavy rain in the valleys. And we also got a stripe of precipitation across the lower Great Lakes on up into New York State, Pennsylvania, where we could get up to a quarter inch of precipitation, which would be in the form of rain since it's so warm right now. And if we take a look at the, I'm going to briefly show you the GFS model run of this system, precipitation moving up the coast, the east coast. You can see uh, the precipitation propagating up the east coast, and that will bring a good deal of rainfall and what could be wind across the eastern uh, states and then eventually up into eastern Canada with this storm. 
I'm uh, meteorologist Mark Molnar. Uh, you can visit my website at www.meteomark.com. Don't forget to subscribe to us. If you're on the website, uh, it's above. If you are uh, like us on uh, Facebook to the right, if, uh, if you're on our YouTube page, Meteo Mark. And uh, here's the four-day forecast for the people in, my, in and around my hometown from Binghamton to Elmira and all points in between.